Hello, DHS Cardinals. This is Mrs. Van Est, one of your very own counselors. Later in the presentation, you'll be hearing from Mrs. Wamba, Dr. Van Est, and Mrs. Thomas. Each of us will cover some of the aspects you might want to consider as you create your final course selections for next school year. So this is what we'll cover today. Graduation requirements, we'll look through elective options at DHS, and we'll have a classroom question and answer time with a counselor. One of us will drop by to your classroom to answer any questions you have and any questions that arose during the presentation. Your very important task today is to select six credits for next year's schedule. Thank you in advance for selecting six credits. Please have these things in front of you. A cover letter, your blue course request sheet, graduation requirement credit check sheet, high school transcript, and the DHS course selection book. So, your cover letter has the scheduling directions. Your course selection sheet is blue. Your graduation requirement credit check sheet is a list of the graduation requirements. The high school transcript is a list of the classes you've completed with your grades. And the course selection book is the booklet with the class descriptions. So to clarify all this, the letter is from Mrs. Malenich to take home and read with a parent or guardian. This explains your responsibility in the scheduling process. The blue sheet is what your counselor will use to create your schedule. A parent signature is needed on this to make sure we're all on the same page. Six credits need to be circled. It's very important that you circle each class you would like to take and you make sure it adds to exactly six credits. For this to be convenient for you, you read the class name and right beside that is how many credits it is. So make sure to circle that on the blue sheet. The graduation requirement check sheet is just a checklist for you to use to make sure that you've met the graduation requirements. The high school transcript is a list of all the classes you've taken. You can use this with the graduation check sheet to ensure you've taken and passed everything you need to do to graduate. The DHS course selection book has all the class descriptions. If you'd like more information on a class or you're not sure what a class is, reference this book and check out all the options in there. If you need your own personal copy of this book, please just stop down to the guidance office to pick one up. If you happen to have special education services, you'll work with your case manager to select your six credits of classes. So this slideshow is the graduation requirements at Davison High School, as we're told by the state of Michigan. While this list is very big, don't worry, you've already done many of the things on this list. To look through them, you need four credits of English, four credits of math, three credits of science, three credits of world studies, two credits of foreign language, one credit of art, half a credit of health, and half a credit of PE. For English, you'll want to take English 9, 10, 11, and 12. There's some variations that the counselors will discuss in later slides. For math, you'll need Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and a full credit of math for your senior math. For the three science, you need a credit of physical science, biology, and an additional science credit. For world language, you need two years of the same foreign language. For art, you can have a credit of your choice. For health, you need to take the health class. And for physical education, you need to take the gym class of your choice. Now there's many variations and substitutions for all the subject areas on this list. The counselors in future slides will talk you through those and talk about the many, many options and ways you can do variations from this list. Hello to be seniors. This is Mrs. Wamba. So what should you put in your blue course selection sheet today? The following slides are guidelines for what the state of Michigan requires students to take for graduation and elective options that DHS offers. Please pay careful attention, although we know it's not the most riveting information in the world, as we review your graduation requirements so that you are scheduling yourself accurately. You may want to consider ways to challenge yourself beyond the required curriculum. Like on this slide here, this is what some of our more prestigious colleges tell us as far as going above and beyond. So, of course, we have the four years of English, four years of math, but then also four years of social science, four years of science, and three to four years of the same foreign language. We are consistently being told by admission departments at colleges in our state that they want you bilingual by the time you get to them. What should you circle on your blue course selection sheet today? 
The answer to this question is simple. Whatever six classes you want in your schedule next school year. Again, reading through course descriptions, talking with your teachers and parents are all strongly recommended to ensure you get the schedule that you desire. We want your senior year to be what you want it to be. Blindly circling classes now just to get it turned into your teacher results in you getting those classes on your schedule. This also applies to what you put down for your alternate class choices on the back of the sheet. Please be purposeful in your selections. English. Simply put, you have to take it senior year. Your choice is between English 12 or AP Literature. We've included electives within the English department on the right side of the slide. Modern American Literature, which is formerly Humanities. Yearbook, which requires you to apply and be accepted. Also requires some significant after-school hours as you are covering events to be included in the yearbook. And then our new course called Multimedia News Lab, which preps you for DTV, yearbook, and careers in journalism. Math. Senior year math. So many options. So please pay attention to make sure you are getting what you need for your future. Please notice that we have split this slide into two columns, college prep and math related. Popular colleges and universities within our state have told us that they want to see you stay in the traditional math track, which would be trig, pre-calc, honors, trig, etc. For example, we have had seniors select marketing as their senior year math credit and apply to Michigan State. Even though Davison honors marketing as a senior year math credit, Michigan State does not. So when choosing your math credit for your senior year, please choose wisely. If you feel that your particular school personal preference is to leave the traditional math track, then please check out the courses offered in the right column. Accounting, all levels of marketing, computer programming, business finance, all levels of engineering, and all levels of auto. Science. Science is an area that the state of Michigan has recently changed. Please note these changes on the left side of the slide. We are now requiring a physical science, not physical science the class, rather it can be physical science the class or physics or chemistry. One credit in biology and then an additional science credit. Most of you will probably be wrapped up with your science credits and maybe considering some of the electives on the right side of the slide microbiology, human development, anatomy and physiology, sports medicine, AP biology, AP chemistry, or even honors physics. Some colleges and university in Michigan want to see you have exposure to both physics and chemistry, like if you want to go to Kettering and major in engineering. This is definitely something you should look into or consider. Please be mindful that a big portion of anatomy and physiology involves dissecting a cat. If you are uncomfortable just thinking about this, it might not be the best class for you. Please check your high school transcript and make sure that you have completed all of your world studies requirements on the left. If you have not completed these requirements, please add the one that you are missing to your course request sheet. If you have met the requirements, on the right we have listed some elective options for you to consider. One of the most commonly asked questions is, what is the difference between psychology and sociology? Psychology is the study of human behavior, why we act the way we do, why our brains work the way they do. Sociology is the study of groups of people and the norms that are developed within these groups. We encourage you to look in your course selection book for the official course description. Two years of the same foreign language is required to graduate. However, if you have not completed your second year of foreign language, you can substitute it with one credit of a career tech ed course or one credit of additional arts courses. For example, after taking Spanish one, French 1 or ASL 1, you can choose to continue the second year of that foreign language or pick a one credit CTE or additional arts credit. If picking an art class, this has to be in addition to your already required one credit of art. Please be cautioned that some colleges and universities will not even consider your application unless you have two years of the same foreign language. If you are planning to attend a more highly selective university, such as U of M Ann Arbor, Michigan State, Grand Valley State University, Taking three to four years of the same foreign language is a great way to distinguish yourself above other applicants. This also increases your likelihood of admission. If you plan on applying to GenNet for American Sign Language, please indicate that on the back of your course request sheet. You will still need to select six credits on the front of the sheet, but on the back of the sheet where you select GenNet, you will tell us which credit you would like us to drop if you are accepted into the GenNet program. This is so you have a backup elective selected in case you do not get accepted into GenNet. GenNet applications are due on February 10th in the guidance office. At that time, the counseling department, 
will review all applications and consider the following criteria when selecting GenEd students, a 3.0 or higher GPA, regular attendance, and a clean disciplinary record. Taking all of these things into consideration is essential as our GenNet rooms only hold 10 to 12 students per hour. Students are required to earn one full credit of art during their high school career. If you have not yet earned your full credit of art, you must complete this graduation requirement this year. On the far right of the screen are a list of the courses that meet the art requirement. At the top of the list are all of our traditional art courses that fulfill the art requirement. Please note that Introduction to Art is a prerequisite for all art classes. All vocal and instrumental music courses also fulfill the art requirement. But what you may not know is that there are other courses like career tech ed courses and classes offered through the Genesee Career Institute that fulfill the art requirement. Please see your course selection book for a list of courses that fulfill the requirement. The final core graduation requirements to cover are health and physical education. You are required by the state of Michigan to have a half a credit of health and a half a credit of physical education. Davison High School will also allow you to fulfill the physical education requirement by participating in a freshman, JV, or varsity sport, marching band, DHS pom-pom, or the DHS dance team. If you are wanting to fulfill your physical education requirement by participating in one of those activities, you must fill out the physical education substitution form that is located in the guidance office. You are responsible for obtaining the required signatures on the form and turning it back into the guidance office. If you have not already met the health and physical education requirement, you must schedule yourself to take the appropriate course next year. The far right side of the screen includes the various physical education options. Please refer to the course selection book regarding which of these PE options are appropriate for you. Underneath the PE courses, we have listed the life management electives, foods and nutrition, and family decision making. These courses are electives only and do not fulfill the health or PE requirement. This slide contains a number of elective options from our career and technical education department. Do you have an interest in a career in business? If so, consider taking a course from the left column, such as business management administration, accounting, or marketing. For students interested in careers in engineering, we highly recommend a course from the right column. We offer several engineering courses, including Introduction to Engineering and Design, Principles of Engineering, Civil Engineering and Architecture, and Robotics. For students interested in computers, we offer a variety of courses, including pr computer programming, computer networking, a computer repair, and web design. For students interested in earning college credit, we also offer AP computer programming. Davison offers courses in woodworking and automotive technology. And for students interested in careers in television broadcasting, news gathering, and video production, we offer DTV. DTV is an application-based course, so please make sure to circle DTV on the back of your course request sheet if you plan to apply. Starting next year, we will also offer a course for students interested in a career in the healthcare field called Health Sciences One. Again, please see your course selection book for a complete description of all of these courses, and remember that all of the CTE courses can take the place of your second year of foreign language. Thank you, Mrs. Thomas. This is Jason Van Est, counselor for students with last names beginning with letters P through Z. The screen that you are looking at provides a list of our application courses here at DHS. We refer to these as application courses because these are courses that require you to apply and be accepted into. If you wish to apply for Multimedia News Lab, DTV, GenNet, GCI, dual enrollment, or yearbook, be sure to stop into the guidance office to pick up an application and turn the completed application back into the guidance office by the designated due date. Now please turn your attention to the back side of your blue course request sheet. If you want to apply for one of courses or programs listed here, circle the name of the course you intend to apply for and then write the name of the course or courses that you would like to drop in the event that you are accepted into the desired program. Let me give you an example. If you plan to apply for GenNet and would like to drop Painting and Civil War in the event that you are accepted into GenNet, circle GenNet and write Painting and Civil War on the line next to where you circled GenNet. Please note, you still need to fill out an application in order to apply for any special program. Just to clarify, you will still need to select six credits on the front of the GLUE course request sheet even if you plan to apply for one of these application courses.
This is so you have a backup elective selected in case you do not get accepted into the program you applied for. If you are an athlete interested in playing a college sport, please pay special attention to this next slide. If you would like to help yourself be eligible to play a college sport, there are steps that you need to take in order to become eligible. Failure to take these steps will prevent you from being eligible to accept an athletic scholarship or play a college sport at a Division I or Division II university. The first step involves applying for eligibility at the NCAA Eligibility Center. This can be done on the website eligibilitycenter.org. If you do not request eligibility through the NCAA Eligibility Center, you will not qualify to play sports at a D1 or D2 institution. If you would like to track your NCAA eligibility status, please create an account utilizing the website corecoursegpa.com. Create your own account on this website using the school ID and school code provided on the bottom of this slide. Although this site does not provide you with official eligibility to play a college sport, it will allow you to establish an account to track your NCAA academic eligibility year to year. Feel free to drop into the athletic office or visit the website corecoursegpa.com to gather more information about creating an NCAA eligibility account. If you would like to view more in-depth information about the various courses offered at DHS, please go to the Davison School's website to view our course selection book. The course selection book includes detailed descriptions of every course offered at DHS. Feel free to use the instructions listed on this slide to locate the course selection book on our website at davisonschools.org. The presentation you are currently watching can also be found on our school's website. Please join us at the Scheduling 101 Information Night on February 6th at 6 o'clock p.m. This is a great opportunity for you and your parents to learn about all the specialty programs offered here at DHS. Representatives from our college partners, our career and technical education programs, yearbook, teacher cadet, co-op, DTV, AP, GenNet, and the Genesee Career Institute will be available for information and questions. Let's take a moment to review the main points from this presentation. Please be sure to circle six full credits on your glue sheet. Please add up the credits from the courses you circle to verify that the sum total is six full credits. Please be sure to review this information with a parent or guardian and have that parent or guardian sign the back of your blue sheet. Please be sure to turn your blue sheet into your English teacher on or before Friday, February 10th. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you have a great second half of the school year. Go Cardinals!